Hey, this is me, Rob, and this is my wife, my darling wife. Say hi. Hi, y'all. Hi. I'm showing her this uh, radio transmitter kit I got on eBay for about 20 bucks. It is the AMT-MW207. I already did a video of the translation of the direction. This is a review, so yay! Hoorah! Hoorah. Okay. Um, Hoorah. <laughs> um, here we go. I'm going to just turn on my radio here. Hold that. No. Well, my husband is handling the static. Yeah. Now that's it on, that's it off. That was it off, on. Let's see, let's do something. Come on. Why do you have that hooked up there? Oh, the input? Mm -hmm. uh, you have an audio input from some, any music device. Okay. Why is that not switching? These are these are songs from the YouTube music library, so It was summer rimmer headed for the weekend. He swears he has his words written down. Yeah, I wrote some words to this song from the music library. Now, you can also track the... If you're testing a radio, like this is an old Zenith G500, Transoceanic. Um, it doesn't receive very well because I haven't aligned it yet, and I didn't have anything to align it. That's why I bought this... Um, transmitter so I could try to align it. This would be my signal generator. So I'll demonstrate me tracking the station through its hop, through its entire range. Here we go. I'll turn it down a little bit so you can hear me. Turn off station. Turn it off station and then Midway through. So what are you doing? Are you matching the stations? Yeah, I'm turning the frequency through the throughout the band of the AM band, and I'm just adjusting the transmission frequency to match it. So now I know it will receive at the low end. It'll also receive at the Mid-range. Mid-range. Get it off station and it'll... At the higher end of the station, this transmitter distorts just a little bit, but if you get the... Mod modulation control so it's a little bit higher or um, how much signal is injected into the transmission and so um, how does your audience know that that's, that's coming from your receiver and that's not something different since the song is now different oh it changed went from one song to another come on that's the song i was playing before no i'll change the frequency just follow me with the microphone So this is a station, and now I will... Really 
and then you have cases where people... So, it works well. It works really well. So, so is that connected to anything in the radio itself? Or no. It's just, it's just transmitting down to the radio? Yeah, it's just transmitting because the antenna for the AM is right here. Uh -huh. It's really short range. So if I move this out of the... It'll lose its signal, so... Oh, it's turning the camera. Any other questions? Probably. Probably. You want to know about the kit or how easy it is to put together? How easy is it to put together? Here, I'll show you. Let me turn this off. Turn it down. Okay. So um, the kit is pretty straightforward. There's a lot of space in between the the uh, the lights going between the components. So it's pretty straightforward. The only issue I had was that um, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the capacitors, disk capacitors, wasn't high enough. So I, the extra disk capacitor it has, I just stacked them all in parallel so it had the right value, close to the value in the, it showed in the schematic. And how you tune this after you put it all together is you turn it all the way to the the lower band. You turn it all the way clockwise. I use my wife's nail polish to make a horizontal line with her nail polish. That's so, where it went to. Yeah, that's where the glitter is. And then you adjust the the this back and forth. I have a glob of hot glue holding it there, and you just move it left and right until. And the receiving station you want to put on the lower end as well. Um, what I did was I used a digital radio receiver. So like this one here, it's, it's digital. I put it on the lower frequency of the band and which is like 525 kilohertz. Oh, it's still going. And I get it till I get till I get the strongest signal. And then you go all the way up to the top of the band, which in the United States is 1710 or 1700. And I put the frequency all the way up. Oops. Then you adjust these two screws, oops, these two screws on the right until you get the frequency to match with the uh, radio. And then you go all the way back down to the, to the bottom again and switch it to the 525. And make sure that it's still aligned. You go back and forth until it's stable at the upper and bottom part of the range of the band. Okay. Now, what's not really clear in the instructions, unless you translated the instructions from Chinese, what all the different parts of the circuit are. It's like this, uh, I can't see, there's no light. Anyways, there's this uh, little output that says monitor. That's just this uh, 
place to connect it to an oscilloscope, it's not an antenna output. The antenna is the ferrite rod. So there is no, there is no um, antenna wire that you use. And also, is it possible to attach an antenna to that? Um, that I don't know. Also, there's two little solder connector thingies on the bottom. Uh, there's an A, and under this wheel, there's a B. Let me see if I can get that off. Okay, so there's an A. Um, you short the, you solder together when you're testing one of the currents of the transistors. You don't have to do that, but there is a, a B section down here where you do have to solder it for it to work correctly. So there's a jumper pad to solder that has to solder for this to work right. A, you do not solder for it to work. It's just part of the test procedure and you can learn about the test procedure. There's also some solder pads on this. I'm not sure what those are for. Didn't say what they're in the directions, what they were. Uh, I think it's just a way of, if you want to, if you want to use on two batteries or three batteries or four batteries, you can um, jump it across to experiment with. And you have any other questions? I don't think so. Okay. So is it worth it for the money? Um, for my purposes? Yeah. Totally worth it. I mean, I, I got this so I could um, get this radio. How much did you actually spend on it? it with tax and everything, is around $20. Oh, okay. Um, free shipping. Um, it's okay. definitely cheaper than a... Uh, radio frequency function generator and those are like 50 bucks and up and so and this one you can if you want to play play music through an old radio or a newer radio because you want to get that cool old radio experience playing old music through an old radio this is perfect for that you just lay it on top okay all right that's it until next time. Anything else to say, my wife? Have a wonderful day. All right. Bye.